Hey there, folks. Welcome to another of our wonderful quick looks. Just popped a trophy. Um, I'm Rich Walker. With me is Dean Abdu. And we're going to be taking you through a bit of Agents of Mayhem, which is out very soon. Uh, I had a chance to go hands-on with a pretty much near-finished build. Uh, so I thought we'd start with a quick look at the Agents hub area this is their home where you've got the armory you've got your mission briefing you've got loads of things you can do and people you can talk to this character is called hard attack he's the big sort of shotgun bruiser guy he's got a harpoon he's pretty cool uh, so this is early on in the game this is kind of uh, where you essentially start pretty much and from here you can access all your missions and stuff what do you know about cool. Agents of Mayhem, Dean? I know that Agents of Mayhem is by the same people who did Saints Row. It's correct. set in the same universe. Yes. Um, and it's a sort of like spin-off game from that. Yeah. Is that correct in thinking? It is. But uh, where Saints Row was a fictional city, this is set in the real city of Seoul in South Korea. Oh, okay. So there you go. So that was me receiving my mission briefing. Now this is where you set up your agents. You can mess around with different skins and stuff. So these are all locked at the moment, but you can, you know, change the look of your agents. Uh, assemble your team. There's loads of agents beyond these ones, but you have three in your group that you can switch between on the fly while you're out in the field doing your missions. So choose wisely. Okay, and and in terms of customization, uh, you can just change like the skin. You can't change each individual part. Like, no, uh, no. Like Saints Row game. But there are some pretty cool skins that kind of reference kind of pop culture stuff. Like there's um I think there's like a Joker skin for the Yakuza okay. character and stuff like that. So yeah, there are cool little um, things like that, little touches. So this is how you deploy into a mission. Nice. You jump out like that. And so, yeah, this is um, Fortune. we just jump in straight into some action here. She's got a cool little drone with her that acts as her mayhem ability. She's got these two pistols. She's kind of got this pirate thing going on. Uh, she's like a sort of badass bandit. Um, so, yeah, mayhem is quite an apt description of the action in this game uh, and there you go that was me flipping to uh, <laughs> Hollywood um, like that. and he's got a grenade launcher which is pretty cool it kind is of. quite chaotic it kind of reminds me a bit of Crackdown do you, do you see what I'm saying yeah, with that? I actually put that comparison to um, uh, one of the members of Volition the developers when uh, I spoke to them you can uh, check out that interview I'll, I'll put it at the end of this video you can click through to it and learn more about the game um, yeah, so it, it is a third-person shooter. It's a little bit of a departure from Saints Row, though not a massive one. It is still chaotic. Still got that kind of brand of humour and the kind of iconography, like the fleur de lis and the, the purple everywhere. Uh -huh. So um, it's recognisably from the Saints Row universe. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's open world as well. You've got the cars you can drive around in. You can jump in any car. Um, it's a bit more linear, a little bit bit less open than Saints Row is. Okay. Um, so what like what's going on at the moment, like when in this mission? Right. So you're driving away. You've just finished yep. fighting some aliens. Is that I, right I think they're sort of armored uh, legion soldiers. Right. So your mayhem, which is an acronym for, oh god, I can't remember now. <laughs> it's an acronym for something, and then there's legion, which is an acronym for something something gentlemen intent on like destroying nations or something like okay. that Obliter the obliteration of nations that's it um, and you're out to stop them so um, there's all sorts of kind of sneering bad dudes that you'll take on like Dr. Babylon and Hammersmith and, and others um, so yeah that's it really it kind of takes the uh, takes inspiration from Saturday morning cartoons that, yeah. um, so that's kind of the style uh, this is a hacking mini game you do we've just got a time pressing the button in the in the little areas and you destroy this thing so yeah basically this mission involves just getting to um getting to rama and you can unlock her so as you do each agent's origin mission you unlock them for your team okay and there's like a dozen or so agents i believe uh, it's like there's yeti daisy rama who you're going to see in a bit there's the three that you've seen already fortune hollywood and uh hard tack um, Red Card is another one. There's, there's loads. There's, there's loads of them. They've put out trailers for every single one now, so they've all been revealed. So uh, you can no doubt easily seek those out on XboxAchievements.com and PlayStationTrophies.org. Don't. Why would you go anywhere else? Uh, so Friday, she's talking to you now. She's kind of your mission control. She's telling you what you need to do. Uh, Persephone's the leader of Mayhem. You saw her earlier in the hub in the arc. Um, so this now, I'm just kind of. Uh, 
getting into this facility by shooting the locks and I'll hack stuff later. This is, these are hell troopers I'm taking on. Uh, just blasting them. And we're going to cut ahead. So this is the same kind of section, but I'm just uh, kind of uh, <laughs> editing it down a bit because there's a lot of uh, shooting here. Pew pews and a lot boo -boo. of pew pews. <laughs> there's only so much pew pew you can take in a video. <laughs> when you're playing it, it's great fun, but watching it could get a little bit. So you're you know. playing as one of the other agents now. So in this is this back one. to fortune now. Okay. So I had I've got Holly. You see in the bottom right corner. Yep. That's my team. I can switch between them at any time okay. at the touch of a button. Easy. So if you're dying, you can sort of um, switch and, and heal up a little bit. So there's a bit of a, a tactical kind of leaning to things a little bit. Not massively. Okay. So uh, what do you think, Dean? Is this your kind of thing? I mean, like Does I was saying earlier, enjoyable? It's, it's got a bit of a crackdown feel to it. And like, yeah. love crackdown, love Saints Row. So uh, I think Agents of Mayhem is sort of like a mix of the two. Right, yeah. Uh, creating their own little concoction of that sort of crackdown world but in the Saints Row universe because yeah. like definitely towards the latter half of the Saints Row games it was getting to that crazy ridiculous quirkiness yeah. where it kind of just went off the rails and it seems like this is what Agents of Mayhem is completely focused on is like the off the rail sort of 80s type action thing as we've seen from yeah. a bunch of their teaser trailers with like that Knight Rider sort of yeah. uh, nod uh, and funny, Hasselhoff. Yeah, the funny thing is you don't really get much of a feeling for the 80s stuff Okay. in this. Um, it's more the, the um, Saturday morning cartoons you really kind of feel it has a, a, a relation to. You can sort of uh, sense the inspiration. You get, you get a sense of that. Uh, so this is Fortune's Mayhem ability. Every character has their own Mayhem ability. And I think your drone just helps you out. <laughs> okay. I can't really tell what's happening. Um, but yeah, I'm sure if you actually read what the thing does, you, you'd know. Unlike me, who's just like, let's get the footage, let's go mad, let's blow shit up. So I think I collected a, a Fleur de Lis um, icon there. That's um, another instant Mayhem power-up. So I could unleash another Mayhem attack now if I wanted to. But uh, I'm saving it. I'm saving it for later. Some good tactics. So there we go. Yeah, but it's fun. It's fast-paced. And I see why the uh, Crackdown comparisons, I see where they come from. Um, I think it's kind of the verticality. And in this game, you don't have a double jump. You have a triple jump. So you can jump three times in the air. Damn. So, uh, yeah, you can scale the sides of buildings quite easily. Um, I'll do a little bit of that later on in the video, so you can check that out. Uh, perfect hack, mate. So here we go. This is um, skipping forward now to Rama's origin mission. So you get an animated cutscene that precedes each one. This is just a little bit of uh, Rama's kind of intro. So you understand what her motivations for joining uh, Mayhem are. And you get to play through her mission now. And once you finish that, you unlock her for your team. So the character switching thing you don't have here because this is just Rama's story. Okay. Uh, so you get to grips with her abilities. Um, you drive around in her car, which you can beckon whenever you want. And this is us skipping ahead now. So we drove to this, our first objective, and she's got a bow and arrow, which is pretty cool. You charge it up, and you can get some pretty precise headshots. You'll notice I got that one as I was falling, Dean. Uh, I did. That was uh, some Feel free skillage. to uh, bow before me. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll consider it. Yeah. Um, so um, yeah, she's she's great for kind of headshots and stuff. Um, really, really fun to play as. And uh, each character does have their own sort of uh, attributes that make him unique. And you'll notice I got him as he was falling. Oh, well, look at that! Critical kill. There Just you go. headshots left, right, and centre. Absolutely. Uh, so this here is introducing a new enemy. This is a swarm trooper. If you, in case you missed that little intro. <laughs> um, and they've got like two daggers. They kind of charge at you they, they're kind of assassins they can appear out of nowhere they're not too difficult to kill though to be fair and oh. i think i mean you did take them out quite fast like exactly look at that. yeah Pop. there's more of them you just uh, headshots mate every time headshots 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 there you go there's another one and up oh, that was my headshot but it still worked still got it, it counts <laughs> i can't remember whether i cut a bit out here but there is a point and we'll see <laughs> we'll see if i do it i can't remember yeah, I cut it out, right? So there's one of those people I shot him in the head. So you can, uh, like innocent people, you can shoot <laughs> oh, innocent no. if you're a sadist like me. I wouldn't condone such behavior, of course. Uh -huh. uh, so this is just showing that you can upgrade while you're out in the field. So you can upgrade your abilities, uh, spend any skill points you've earned. 
um, and mess about with your character's kind of spec, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there's kind of a light bit of RPG kind of uh, element at work behind the scenes, which is quite cool. And this is me just shooting some food, because why wouldn't you shoot the food? Uh, you'll find that there's an access point actually hidden in that those noodles or whatever they Did you are. mean to find that access point or were you just shooting yeah, the Well food? that's where the waypoint was so <laughs> yeah. I think that's oh, okay. why I was shooting the food just trying to isolate where the access point was. <laughs> there's logic, there's mm -hmm. method mm -hmm. to the madness Dean. So yeah this is her mayhem ability, it's called Patient Zero and it's kind of an area of effect thing. Um, I think I probably screwed this up um, because I killed all the enemies then deployed my mayhem ability when it was too late. But, <laughs> so there you go. So here you go, everyone's gone. And I think I just sort of panicked and was like, I don't know what to do with it. Just that. And oh, okay. it kills her and then the area effect thing is wasted. Oh. So ideally what you want to do is fire that into a group of enemies and not at a single enemy. Like I should have kind of fired it here or something or saved it. I just wanted to show it in the video. I oh, know, like, I did get it there. It, oh, didn't, it still okay. didn't do much. Yeah, it's never mind. a bit more effective there. But part and parcel of the strategy as well is when you do have three... Uh, agents you can mix up and sort of do combo so you could deploy her area of effect kind of acid thing and then combine it with other abilities to um, have different kind of effects on enemies okay. um, so it's touched upon in that interview we mentioned earlier with the developer and he says he saw a player kind of combining three abilities in a way he'd not even thought of so you know there's there's plenty of scope for that which is pretty cool so if, you, if you're interested in that kind of thing, uh, yeah, I urge you to check out the interview we did, because it's quite interesting. So after you've completed Rama's mission, do you unlock Rama to play with the other agents then? You do, yeah. Great. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you can you can be her, and she'll join your team permanently, and the same goes for all the others. Uh, so this is just showing a bit of the verticality, a bit of the kind of uh, triple jumping up buildings. Well, that was a double jump, but you, you get what I mean. So yeah, you can scale buildings pretty fast. Um, yeah, and this is kind of the final section of the video, really, where we uh, blast a few bad dudes. More hacking access points. I don't know how much of it is going to be hacking access points. Hopefully not too much, because that could get a bit tiresome. There does seem to be quite a few. But there, there have been a few in this demo. But th again, this is still early in the game, yeah. so maybe... Uh, yeah, it, it mixes up the uh, objectives a little bit as you, as you go. So again, we're ambushed by ninjas. Uh... So it's all about just picking them off. Uh, but Rammer has a, a circle ability, uh, B on the Xbox or PC controller, uh, where you enter stealth and so they'll lose track of you. So that's quite handy. So you can line up some stealthy headshots. Um, that's the equivalent of like um, Hollywood's grenade launcher or hard tacks kind of uh, big projectile uh, abilities. So they each have a secondary ability like that that's really useful and kind of plays to that character's strengths and unique kind of... Uh, abilities okay um yeah and then obviously all this cash and xp stuff you collect feeds into you know buying upgrades and new things and stuff so like i say there's that rpg kind of extra depth to things so it just kind of uh, keeps things a bit interesting mixes things up a bit so i saw that you leveled up to level two and yep. earlier you leveled one of the guys up to level three is there like a level cap on each of these characters i don't know dean that is a good oh, question yeah. you'll have to find out when the game comes out on 15th of august in north america and 18th of august in europe uh but yeah that about does it i think okay. um so looks like fun agents mayhem come to xbox one ps4 pc uh we hope you enjoyed what you saw and if you did please leave a comment like subscribe do all that good stuff we'll be very very grateful so um yeah thanks again for watching and we'll see you again hopefully thank you very much bye